those days before we talk about literally what is happening. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, thanks for watching. My name is Lauren, I'm a 400 hurdler and I live in Australia, in Brisbane to be exact. And uh, yeah, we are definitely now on the countdown to state champs. It's, I wanna say 10 days away, but don't, don't go with me on that because um, we have a board meeting this Thursday that, you know, this week. And we also, there's a midweek meet that I just assumed entitled midweek was on a Wednesday, but it's not, it's on the board. Day. so I had literally been saying in my head the meet was on this date and the board meeting was on the same date but a day later so yeah don't trust me on dates but um yeah so as you saw I've just been to work today there was not many of us in the office I did a few things I've actually been putting off something that I will have to do tomorrow otherwise um, it will be too late and it'll cause other consequences but I will do that first thing tomorrow uh, I'm at a UQ now at uh, this week is probably our last big week of training before we plateau moving into states. Uh, I had a race on the weekend. It didn't go great, but it also didn't go poorly. So what I'd had a few issues with before, we you know, looked after that quite well, but then some other stuff that we hadn't been working on sort of came to the forefront and yeah, now we're gonna work on that. But uh, all from it I've taken the big thing is confidence. Um, I'm definitely moving in the right direction and I'm really looking forward to putting something special together at state championships uh, So I actually haven't seen my training program for this week I've pretty much just left it up to Russ to decide to get me to peak um, I'll chat to him today about booking in my massage before states let him figure out what's gonna work in best. I do need to let my gym coach know, just remind him that States is coming up because I've been a little all over the place with dates and things and I just remind him that it is next week and I'll let him know the days that I'm running so he can adjust my program um, accordingly. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying today, I'm not really sure what we've got. It'll probably be something more on the heavier side of things. Like last week we did 250, one minute 150 yeah that makes 400 yeah so we've sort of been doing split 400s which have been really really good and I like to kind of keep those in the program as long as possible just to remind me that even though you're you're peaking and you're starting to feel really good you still do have to really run quite hard because sometimes I can be a little bit lazy and just go easy um, yeah so I am gonna head in now and yeah we'll just see what happens <laughs> great session um, yeah we ended up doing just let me think um, 150 walk 100 100 and then we had like 10 minutes I had 11 minutes because I wasn't I was chatting and I wasn't paying attention to the time and then we did 120 walk back 30 and then we had another 10 minutes and then we did 180 50 and then I did 460s to finish off and it was a really good session and I can see someone's pulled up behind me and yeah I'm just starting to feel that power again across the track and like my, my hips are nice and high and I'm covering the ground this quite nicely so I'm gonna head home now um, do good recovery and get into bed and have an early night because I have gym first thing tomorrow
morning. I just finished a gym. I didn't get much footage, sorry. I thought of it when I first started, but I was in um, one of the squatting racks and it was a bit of an awkward angle. So I was like, oh, I'll just get some footage at the other exercises. And then suddenly I was onto my core work, which I do at the end. And I was like, I forgot to video anything, but uh, it was a good session. Um, yeah, everything's coming along nicely. I pulled up really well this morning, a little bit stiff in the hips and the glutes, which you would expect because, you know, we did some sprinting work yesterday. Um, but yeah, feeling good. So the plan for today is obviously it's Tuesday, so I work from home. I will just go home now. Um, I did have a cliff bar on the way over here, so I'm not super hungry yet. So I'll go home, I'll probably put away some washing, and yeah, just get organized and then at 7 a.m. I'll start work and then at lunchtime I'll go out and I'll do my plyometrics and I'll probably at some stage also go for a walk with my mum and this afternoon I am getting my hair done. I'm just going to sort of get them to put the toner through so it's a little less um, brassy and I think I will get them to cut a little bit off it so that my braids when I run aren't quite as long because they kind of flap around a bit and that annoys me um, but I haven't decided about that so we'll see and yeah then um just the rest of the day will be focused on getting organized for wednesday and thursday because i'm in the office like those two days in a row and so they're quite late nights and also just recovery so that i feel really good and that's it yep so i'm gonna head home now and get the day started hey guys it is um oh it's like 1 30 now so i'll be done work in about 40 50 minutes so that I can head down the hairdresser. I am so excited to get my hair done. I know I said that earlier. Um, it's been a pretty good day. I've gotten everything done. More importantly, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but um, there is a board meeting this week and I have to attend it on Thursday. So I've pretty much gotten everything like packed and ready for it and I'm just really happy about that. But the other thing I wanted to say is, is that um, I brought a new camera and it arrived today and I went for the Insta 360 one inch because that one supposedly shoots a little bit better in low light. So I'm hoping I can use it a lot when I'm in Sydney because, um, you know, I'll be backwards and forwards and because daylight savings, it'll get darker a bit earlier. It also, uh, Russ won't be out at the track tomorrow afternoon when the sun goes down, you know, we can maybe still get a little bit of footage. But yeah, I'm also just keen to keep learning about these action cameras and how I can like integrate them into training and get a bit more um, footage. I mean, for me, it's not so much a thing of getting the footage, it's having the guts to pull the camera out and get the footage <laughs> because there's always like little kids around out at the track and yeah, I just don't feel comfortable doing it. Um, but what I wanna do now before I finish up for the day is I do wanna sort my washing so that when I get back from the hairdresser, I can just put that on and it will dry. And then I can just have a quick shower, get into bed and do some recovery and be all ready for tomorrow. Good afternoon. Sorry, I just fixed up my shirt here. Um, it's Wednesday. Um, I literally just went to work today. It was just Scott and I in the office. It's been one of those days where it rains on and off and there's all these storm and flood forecasts, so that's kind of sucky. But yeah, it's a solid day. Nothing exciting happened at work, seriously. Um, so coming out to the track this afternoon, Russ originally wasn't able to make it, but some stuff has switched around and he will make it now. I was meant to train tomorrow morning because I have a board meeting tomorrow evening that I need to attend, um, but it's looking like that won't happen. We have to do mid-year performance reviews and both Luke and I completely forgot about it and they're actually due tomorrow so Luke's like the only time we'll have to do it will be before the board meeting so I will have to go in earlier than planned so and Russ has something on so it just mightn't happen but we'll see I mean we've got a bit of flexibility there but we'll see. Um, yeah looking forward to hurdling today and having a good session hopefully the rain will be kind to us and it can rain after I finish up. So let's head in.
happy Saturday. I didn't talk to you on Thursday or Friday, so I'll give you a quick summation of those days before we talk about literally what is happening outside my window. Um, so Thursday I actually didn't end up being able to train, and that was because uh, we had some stuff happen with um, the new office. So we're pretty confident we're gonna get our top pick, but we had to do like some step outs for spacing because they have to fit it out how it will best fit us. And they're being quite generous and they're basically giving us whatever we want included in the lease. So to compensate them we're keeping the project moving forward so basically I just didn't have time to train in the morning I pretty much just got up I did get a little bit of a sleep in which was you know really appreciated but then I had to get to work do this thing for the office then go back out and um sort the new office stuff and yeah then pretty much just came in did a little bit of my regular work and then we had the board meeting and it all went well but it's just a little bit frustrating like that. So the plan was to train on Friday, um, but unfortunately Queensland has been hit with this major just rain event. It's just heavily raining and it has rained constantly in my suburb from 10 p.m. on Thursday night until basically like 9 or 10 a.m. today, which is Saturday. Um, it was all right on Friday, it was pretty heavy. The street did flood overnight and it has progressively gotten worse since then. Um, here is some footage, I've, I've been taking footage all day. Um, I literally woke up at 5 a.m. to get organized to go to training uh, on Saturday, today, and um, we couldn't get out. Um, we are lucky here. So the way our houses in our street are set is that um, the middle houses are kind of a little bit higher on the river. So the people who built our houses obviously foresaw that you might eventually flood and they built them up quite high and that's why our property sits even though we've got a big block of land we sit really quite far forward because they've sort of built up the house and it made more sense to build it up closer to the street where you know the water rushes out I'll tell you something um our house is plus 2.5 so what that means is you have the highest point of the river where it would sit at high tide and our land has been built up plus 2.5 meters there so it's quite high all this sort of stuff um, and as you can see from some of the footage that I've put in and is around um, our my parents car is jacked up to plus two meters so we've got it as high as we can possibly get it. And um, as of about 10 minutes ago, it's kind of midway up the wheels. So with a car, um, if water actually gets inside it, then it's no longer viable as a vehicle. They'll have to claim it on the insurance. Um, but like my dad said, our vehicles are all fully insured. Um, so it's not a big deal. Well, it is a big deal because cars are really hard to get at the moment, but um, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Um, my car, as we know, I park at the front of the property. And um, so I'm sort of on a higher, a little bit higher angle. I'm more in line with the bottom level of the house. So my car, we think will be fine. Touch wood, we kind of want to keep one car safe because obviously um, if both cars go under, we have no way of getting it out. Um, so because of that, all I did yesterday was I did a hit session on Apple TV, um, just something to get my like, um, cardiovascular up and I did some stretching and recovery and today I've pretty much done nothing but I have spent the day like going around and putting things up in our garage outside um, yeah, like moving stuff up to higher level and then come back in and then go back out because the water's risen again so you go back up again. Um, this afternoon I am going to try and do some plyometrics in my room. I spoke to Russ and then I kind of would like to maybe try and do a core session just so I'm doing something. Um, touch wood it is still raining now but it's not raining as heavy as it was um at high tide the water was uh, sorry at low tide the water was still rising we're at high tide now and we are hoping it has leveled off um yeah and it will just rush out to the catchments and the river and start going down um but like my dad said it's now like five o'clock on Saturday and we have literally done everything we can do to protect the um, property. There's, there's no need to evacuate because we do have a two-story house we can just go to the second floor and that's where the majority of the bedrooms are but yeah it's certainly a very interesting run-up to state championships this year. Um, do I think states will be cancelled? Only if there's damage to the track but I don't think there should be. It's an all-weather track but you never know um, but yeah I guess you know now we just wait and see and, and hope that firstly the there's no more flooding in our house and secondly the water goes down tomorrow so I can get out and train which obviously is the most unimportant thing right now. Oh.